This is my latest effort uh, using uh, two circuits together in a motor situation. And uh, the primary part is the two transistor motor driver. It's the complementary transistor using a PNP and an NPN that a number of us have been working with. And this is just a simplified uh, version um, connecting the two transistors together. And I'm using an LED on the flyback going right back to the positive rail. I'm going to run this on a 5 farad supercapacitor filled up by a couple of uh, AA batteries. And then I'm running this using a little tiny, about a 3 16 uh, diameter neodymium sphere magnet inside a sewing machine bobbin coil. That's it right there. Down inside that little coil is a sphere magnet and there's cellophane on either side of that, cellophane tape, so the magnet can't escape. And then this is the pickup coil for the generator or the jewel thief part of the circuit. And it's a simplified jewel thief. Notice there's no resistors. I'm going straight into it from the coil. No diodes, no nothing. And uh, it is working. And uh, I'm Lid Motor. This is the 19th of July, 2013. And I'm just calling this the ball magnet motor generator. You start it using a little um, magnet to spin up the ball. I just twirled that and it started up. And that's the ball spinning around down inside. There's the uh, motor circuit running. And if I put this on the top of it, there goes the uh, jewel thief. Motor's running, jewel thief, and it's all running together. Let me take the battery off now, and it's still running. This runs for about 20 minutes on uh, about uh, 3 volts in that supercapacitor. So anyway, this was uh, my latest uh, experiment using a uh, basically a jewel thief in conjunction with this uh, complementary transistor driver circuit. And uh, it does work quite interestingly how they, uh, they somehow interconnect through induction. I'm not quite sure how. Uh, this does load it down uh, when you put the uh, coil on top of that other coil. You'll notice a lowering of the RPM on this setup. But this was kind of fun. This is just a, a sewing machine bobbin with 30 gauge wire wrapped up on it with tape on either side to keep the ball inside. And that runs inside that little uh, sewing machine bobbin. And creates this very interesting effect of driving both circuits at the same time. And that's my latest effort with this little uh, combination circuit. Thanks for watching.